Hello, today I'm going to show you how I automatically fill my freshwater top off reservoir. Hello and welcome back everybody to the Bio Reef. I got a very quick video for you. So if you run a reef system, odds are you probably have an RODI system to make fresh water so you're able to replace the water that evaporates. And one tip to get the most out of your DI resin is to avoid running the system too much. So if you're constantly turning on and off the system to make small amounts of water, you run into this problem of uh, TDS creep. Essentially, when the system is down, uh, some dissolved solids that are stuck in the membrane leach up and go into the product line. So over time, this process of TDS creep will reduce the lifespan of your system and it would mean that you have to replace your DI resin more often. So there are many solutions to this, but one simple kind of common sense approach is to try to uh, avoid turning on and off your system uh, to make small amounts of water. So today I'm gonna share with you some tips about how I engineered my RODI system to kind of fill a very large volume of water automatically and turn on only as needed. So let me walk you through my system. So my Spectra Pure RODI system is mounted right underneath my laundry tub and that is connected first to an apex solenoid valve and the water is then routed to my 55 gallon boot and it's routed through a float valve. The idea here is that without any other systems the RODI tub will fill up until the float valve shuts off the water supply. So here's what the float valve looks like inside. I also have two optical sensors in my boot, a low level sensor and a high level sensor. The optical sensors as well as the solenoid are both connected to an Apex FMM module. So here's a quick schematic of my system as well as the Apex programming that I use to control this whole setup. So remember the water is coming from my RODI system, it's going through a solenoid valve, through a float valve, and then it empties into my container which has two optical sensors, a low level as well as a high level. Under normal circumstances, I have the solenoid turned off. So over time, this top off water is being pumped into my display to replace evaporation. And so the water level is gonna go down and down and down. And eventually it's gonna go down and it will trip the low level optical sensor. When this happens, the apex will automatically turn on the solenoid valve, allowing water from my RODI system to start filling up the reservoir. So here's what the system looks like in action. I'm first draining my RODI reservoir by filling up my salt water container below it. You can see at the beginning of this, my RODI system is off. And as my RODI reservoir container drains, eventually the water will hit the optical sensor, the bottom one, and that will trigger my solenoid to turn on and start filling up my container as you see here. So my RODI reservoir will continue to fill up with water and the water level inside it will increase and increase until it eventually reaches the top of the tank. It will activate my high optical sensor and at that point the apex will turn off my solenoid valve preventing any more water from being added to the reservoir. And here's what that looks like inside my tank. You see that the water level has now reached the high level sensor and my solenoid valve is now turned off and no more water is being added to the reservoir. So this process will repeat itself over and over again. Uh, the system will kick on when the level gets too low, it will make enough RODI to last for about a month, a month and a half. And then eventually when it reaches the low position, it will arm itself again and fill up uh, with water. This I think helps with TDS creep because I'm not constantly turning on my system every few minutes whenever the display evaporation on my display leads to a reduction in my water level in uh, reservoir. And before we go, I wanted to share with you a couple of important fail safes because you don't want to rely on automation for everything. So uh, if the high sensor doesn't trip or if my solenoid stays open, for example, or if my apex loses connection, then uh, the fail safe here would actually be my float valve. The float valve will be able to turn off the water and my RODI reservoir is not going to overfill or overflood. 
I also have some fail safes to protect me in case my low level uh, sensor is not working or if my solenoid for some reason just uh, stays stuck in a closed state. So uh, I do have an alarm on my Tanzi Osmolator. So if my Osmolator detects that evaporation is not being compensated by adding more fresh water into the tank, it will make a very loud audible alarm. And, and that would be a, a easy way for me to realize that there's a problem with my system. Uh, the other failsafe is I do have a salinity probe in my sump. So if my Tanzi Osmolator uh, is not adding fresh water into my tank because that, uh, the fresh water reservoir is, is empty, then salinity in my sump will decline over time and I'll be able to pick that up and actually have it set up so that way the Apex will send me an alarm uh, when this happens. So I, I do have fail safes to protect against overfilling of the tank as well as underfilling of the tank. And so that's it guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this tip. Uh, maybe you wanna try this out on your system. And likewise, if, if you have uh, other ideas or thoughts about my setup and uh, you wanna provide some feedback, I'm always happy to hear it. Okay, thank you so much everybody and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.